There's a new way to provision a virtual private server for your application in seconds, and that's with Laravel VPS. So what's a VPS? A virtual private server that can be provisioned through Laravel Forge and ready to run anything out of the box. So in this video, we'll just take up two minutes of your time. We'll spin up and provision a Laravel VPS in Laravel Forge. It's gonna be faster than that. I just talk a lot. And we'll get a site deployed on that VPS in a matter of seconds. All right, so no time cut out of this in this edit, let's go. I'm logged into Laravel Forge, I clicked create a new server, and we have the ability to select Laravel VPS. After we select that Laravel VPS option, we have the ability to configure what type of server this is actually going to deploy as a Laravel VPS instance app server, web server. We'll just stick with app server for now. I'll select the San Francisco region that's closest to me, and you can select what's closest to you. For now, the smallest size is perfect. Advanced settings allows you to set the specific server operating system, PHP version, as well as what database type if you're selecting a full app server like I did. Let's go ahead and create it. Again, no edits. This is all going through in real time. It's provisioning and good luck on trying to steal these credentials because I've already deleted this server. So I've already stored these credentials and yeah, we're connected. It's up. It's ready to go. Why don't we add a new site? Using the command palette, I'm gonna say create a new site and we'll have this be a Laravel application. I can use my existing GitHub repository that I've already connected to Laravel Forge. I'm gonna use the Chirper uh, application that I have in my GitHub repository. Everything for default settings looks correct, looks great. I'm just going to change this domain to Chirper. So that's the new on-forge.com domains, Chirper on-forge. We're gonna install composer dependencies. None of the advanced settings need to be changed for this. So I'm going to leave it as is and create the site. This is probably going to take a little bit longer than the initial server provision, which is just crazy if you think about it. But as this is finalizing install, one thing that you will have to do again is we just install the composer dependencies from the get-go. So once this site is up, you will have to deploy the site again, or we can load up the terminal and run npm install, npm run build, or whatever npm settings you usually need for your application to run. So now that it's installing those dependencies, again, those are the composer dependencies, it will run the database migrations, and then we'll do that final step to get this site up and running. We should also be able to see what's happening within the site if we go to observe. We can also see maybe any site logs that are happening at this time as well which doesn't look like there's anything up just yet because the site hasn't been fully deployed. As you can see, the activity of this site is it's finalizing that site configuration. And yeah, no deployments yet. We'll go ahead and hit deploy again. But like I said, you could open the terminal for this Forge Laravel VPS and be able to run those commands as well. Just as a quick note, as that final deploy step is finalizing, Laravel VPS is going to be slightly different than Laravel Cloud. Laravel Cloud gives you the scalability aspect of having a fully managed infrastructure for your application, where Laravel VPS is just that. It's a virtual private server that you can customize, that you can SSH into, and do whatever you want with that VPS instance that is provisioned for you. But they're both just insanely fast to get up and running. So that finalized deployment, 19 seconds for deployment, four seconds for the build, zero downtime deployments enabled because it's a new site that we provision on this Laravel VPS. That means everything's ready to go. 23 seconds for that deployment step. Again, we could have gone to the terminal. We could say, hey, let's launch the terminal and we could go into this specific site, which it's already in, in the current directory. And we could have run npm install here instead of deploying it again, because that was really the only final step that we needed. And then clicking on visit or going to chirper.on-forge.com or opening up the command palette to visit the site. And yeah, we have our application up and running on Laravel VPS. That was fast, right? It's as simple as that to get an application up and running on a Laravel VPS provisioned instance. So what are you gonna build today? The web is your frontier. Thank you.